In this next video we'll show you how to rename the departments. Now you have up to 16 departments on the ER180T. You might want to group all your products in each department. So for example you might have department 1 as coffee, department 2 as food, department 3 as desserts and so on. And then basically what you would do is you, as you take the transactions you would then put them into each department. So you could then group your products and get an understanding of what products you're selling at the end of the day when you do reporting. So first thing to do is you turn the C key to the program position or PGM position and this time instead we type in the numbers 10001. Now the first one means that we're telling the register we want to do um, department name reprogramming and the last digit here tells it we want to do department one. So we hit subtotal. Okay, we're ready to go. Now let's say we want to make department one food. So using the keys as normal, F O O D. Hit subtotal. And as you can see we've changed department one to food. Now let's do department two. So it's one for department. 0, 0, 0, 2 for department 2. Hit subtotal and we might make this one drinks. So we go D R I N K S and subtotal again. Hit the feed button just to advance the paper and as you can see we've done Department 2 and we've changed that to drinks. Now once you've um, finished programming your department name remember to save the programming by hitting the cache 10 button and then go back to register to do a transaction if you like. So let's try 500 on department 1 I'll just get rid of that and then Five double zero on department two, and then nine double zero on department one again. Hit subtotal nineteen dollars. Let's take forty dollars from the customer. Now we can use the charge key. We use that for FPOS instead of cash. But let's say they put it on FPOS. So we hit charge, and there you go. You can see that we've got food, drinks, food. So the department names are actually something more relevant and it allows us to group our products for reporting. That's basically it. Hit the clear button to clear the transaction and start again.